Hello! It's Monday again and it's freezing! I've got my hoodie on, it's so bloody cold, it's outrageous isn't it? Outrageous! <coughs> right! Important versus essential. Big topic this, because you get, I hear a lot of people and I know a lot of people who think, right, Yusuf Son, hello, how are you doing? I hear a lot of people talk about what's important to them and then what's essential and all that sort of stuff. And you can, you can think, okay, it's, it's important that I get fitter and stronger, but it's not essential to me right now. I can do something in the future about that, which you can, and that's fine. Number one, when. Because if you don't say when, You'll never do it anyway, right? And this is the perfect time because if BKS were really quiet at the moment because a lot of the guys are on holiday because, you know, kids are broken up for school, the guys go away, or they've got childcare to do, you know, you've only got so many... It's like grandparents at school, isn't it, when you... Or like at work, oh, I, can't, I can't come in because my grandma's died. It's like, that's, your, that's the third grandma that's died. <laughs> Something like that. Dave! Davey! Davey boy! Mackie! Yep, and so I'm going to catch up with you, Ant, as well. I'll see you on Thursday, you silly boy. And Dave's on, all the way from Sweden. Absolutely love it. I didn't watch the match, by the way. Dave's trying to get me to, um, to be a Newcastle fan. And he's, and, and yeah, it's not going very well for him at the minute, because um, cause I'm not. I've got no interest. I'm about the only bloke from Newcastle who's not interested in football. And he's like, here's a challenge. Just try and have a year to, to watch football. Yeah, the lost. You see, that's why I'm... If I was... If, if, if I'd have taken on your challenge and said, right, I want to get well into the football and all that, I'd have had a rubbish weekend, you see. But as it happens, I didn't. I had a great weekend because I didn't care that Newcastle lost. I didn't even... I knew they did, actually. Who were they playing? Spurs? Was it Spurs? I think I heard it on the radio or something like that. But as far as I'm concerned, life's too short. Especially for me, anyway, to, to, follow, to follow football because... The amount that, like, when I was at university, asked me about football in the 90s, and I know everything because I was living with seven other geezers in a house at uni, which was, uh, was, was, was interesting because the place was an absolute state. But um, they, they were all in, all they talked about was football. All they talked about was football. So when we were down the pub, we were watching football all the time and it was like you know so I know everything about football in the 90s and then after that I've got no after 1998 I've got no idea no idea anyway we digest so what's important and what's essential so like I was saying the important stuff the BK shirt is in Newcastle colours yes we were talking about this there is ah, there'll be one coming your way and there's a red one as well which is red, white, and and black as well, which has kind of got a bit of soot. I didn't realise when I got it done. But never mind, never mind. I'm, I don't care about football, so Sunderland, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I was in, well, I was in a pub. When was it? A few months ago. A few months ago. And some guy said to me, I was just talking at the, like asking for a pint or something like that. And there was a guy sitting there and he realised I was from Newcastle. He goes, oh, you must be happy that they've gone up. I was like, I didn't even realise they'd gone down. <laughs> anyway, 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 that's not important or essential to me. Important or essential. This is what we're talking about. So, you'll get people who will say, right, it's important. It's important for me to get fitter, stronger and healthier, but just not right now. If it's important, you don't have to do it now. You have to do it at some point in the future. But if you don't say when, it'll then become essential. And by then, it's probably too late. Or you need to do it fast, right? Now, with fitness, that's, that's hard to do. Because when it does become essential that you actually need it, that's pr usually too late when you've, you know, you've got like really bad mobility problems and using walking sticks and all that. I was talking to one of the guys this morning, a guy, Steve, who's, who's 50, and he we were doing some squats and he was doing really well. You know, he was just taking a little bit longer than one of the other guys, Dave. And he said, well, yeah, it's because I'm 50. You know, and I said, ah, you can't use that as an excuse, though, because you're here doing this. And he said, he said there's some people who he knows who he went to school with who've now got walking sticks and stuff like that. Now, 
I don't know if that's because they've neglected their fitness or whatever, or they've had like problems for the need and all of that. However, you know, it's it it surprised it surprised him and probably scared him a little bit as well. I would imagine because he's like, "Blimey, I'm that age and I don't want to be like that." So he's doing something about it. Anyway, he's been coming for a year now. Anger's on again. Hey, Mark's on as well. Loving it. A little break from Game of Thrones for you, Mark. Yeah. So you can say something that's important. I'll do it in the future. But you've got to say when, because if you don't, it'll then become urgent. And like I say with fitness, if it becomes too urgent, it's probably too late. Although it's never too late. However, it'll make it a, a damn sight harder. And you might have to compensate a lot for stuff. So, this is the little tip for the day. And this was something I got from a book I was reading. And it's do the important stuff first. Okay, the unimportant stuff you don't have to worry about because it's not important, right? Do the important stuff first. And if you do the important stuff first, whatever's urgent will get done anyway, by the very nature that it's urgent. Now, if you leave the important stuff to later on, it'll become urgent. So then that'll need to get done as well, and that'll pile up and you'll become stressed. And never do, and then you'll, there'll be some other important stuff that turns up. So if you do the important, the, the urgent stuff will get done because it's urgent, so you'll just get it done. So then if you do the important stuff now, what happens is important stuff comes in and you get it done. And then by the time it's become urgent, it's already taken care of. So therefore it doesn't matter and it makes life a hell of a lot easier. So when I get people who say, I haven't got time because I've got a, a job, which is, uh, which is, th these are urgent things, right? You need a job to make money. You've got to look after your family, your wife and kids or your husband or whatever. So yeah, I mainly talk to men. So I say, I say wife and kids, I'm not being sexist. It's just this... I, I usually talk to guys about this. So that's urgent. That's urgent. You need to do that. That's kind of what you need to do. So what's important, being fit, fit, strong and healthy and looking after yourself becomes important. Not urgent, but it's important. It's not unimportant because if you don't look after yourself, you're screwed anyway. And some people don't. And you see what ends up there. You see what they look like and feel like and all that and walk around moping and then end up getting pissed off with the wife and kids or husband or whatever because of how they feel about themselves. I know this because I've done it. I know this because I've done it. And so the urgent stuff gets done. Okay, you have to look after your 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 kids. You just, you, you know, you have to. <laughs> it's kind of, it'll get done. You don't really have to worry about it that much because it gets done. It's just natural. The important stuff, like looking after yourself, that's the stuff that you put off until it's not urgent that you look after your kids anymore. But, but, but by the time they get uh, where they don't need looking after, which I don't know what age that is these days. It's probably about 25 or something like that. It keeps going up, doesn't it? By the time they move out of the house when they're 30. Um, yeah, you're going to be, what, 60? Which isn't too late because we've got a guy 60 coming down, Rob, who's, who I'll be seeing at 6 o'clock. However, it's easier to get this stuff done earlier. Rob's, Rob's all about that. He's like, he wishes he'd done this ages ago. He had a friend who told him about, about doing kettlebells, said give it a bash, and he, so he came down and did it, and he's like, I wish I'd done this ages ago. It's great, it's addictive, which it is. It is addictive. Now, I'm not trying to get you addicted to stuff because that would be bad as well. But by the very nature of doing the important stuff now, it doesn't become urgent because by the time it does become urgent, it's probably too... Too late. Or it makes it harder. So it's as simple as that. So what I'm trying to say is download my program and get started. It's free. It's important that you do keep fit, strong and healthy into the future. Because if you're, if you're the, top, the, the people who I usually talk to are guys similar age to me, mid 30s to mid 40s. So like, or higher, like 50, 60 we've got coming to BKS, but mid, 40, mid, mid 30s to mid 40s, usually, usually mid 40s. So slightly older than me, not much. These are the guys I usually talk to and say, get started. You know, because if, if you don't, if you leave it a little bit longer, you'll be in your 50s and 60s. And then it's going to be harder. And over that time, so if you're a 40-year-old man or older, like me, or even if you're a 30-year-old man, actually an older, what'll happen is every 10 years, if you, don't, if you don't do anything, if you just keep on doing what you're doing, going to work, getting home, looking after the kids, doing this, and not looking after yourself, 
you're gonna you're gonna end up losing five percent of muscle mass every ten years, which is quite a lot. And if you've if you're if you're forty, you've already had ten years of that. If you're forty five, you've had fifteen years of it, so you lost seven and a half percent of what you had when you were thirty. And that'll keep going. That'll keep going. Now you can reverse that. I've reversed it in myself. I was really, really unhealthy, unfit. And I've reversed that in myself. So I've got more muscle now than I did have when I was 30. Easily. I know that. And it doesn't often make you feel good as well. And strong and fit. And there's a bunch of guys who come to BKS who will help you through that as well. So, you see? There we go. Absolutely fantastic. It's all in this program in here, so you don't even have to come down to the park. You don't have to join any of my online programs, anything like that. It's all in this program that is below here. And I go on about this all the time. That program is there for you. And if you don't think it is for you, that's perfectly fine. But rather than dismissing it and saying it's not for me, so I'm not even going to bother clicking the link, have a look. It'll cost you nothing. It'll cost you nothing. So you just have a look and see if it is for you. And if it is, you'll be glad you clicked the link. If it's not, you've lost nothing. You've lost nothing. It's as simple as that. So, there we go. Tomorrow I'll go on about how stupid I am because I'm doing a 100k walk on Saturday. And, um, yeah, on my own. On my own. Lovely. 100k on my own. That's going to be... Will it be lonely? No, it won't. Because I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of meditation these days. I do a lot of a lot of mindful mindfulness type stuff, which is all a bit like it's not hippie and all that sort of stuff. It's just stuff to keep my head straight, so I can keep on doing all of this sort of shit. And that keeps me going through when I whenever I go out walking and stuff on my own. It keeps me going. So yeah. Anyway, download the program. I'll shut up now. Download the program. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.